What were the seven strangest dinosaur names of all time? Let's fossil it out. Bambi Raptor. Yes, this diminutive dinosaur was named after the distinguished Disney deer himself. Why? Because he was so darn tiny. At only 4.4 pounds, 2 kilograms, this 75 million year old creature was still a fierce fighter, with a huge claw on its second toe to rip into any prey, in contrast to its namesake, a famously friendly fawn. <laughs> Get ready for every four-year-old in the room to start snickering, because next up we have... Gasosaurus. No, this was not a flatulent carnivore whose farts fell to prey. This donkey-sized Jurassic dinosaur's name actually comes from the gasoline company, which found the fossil quarry where Gasosaurus was excavated. <laughs> Managing to master this mouthful of a dinosaur's name is not easy. Meet Micropachycephalosaurus. Let me say that again. Micropachycephalosaurus. Pronounced Micropachycephalosaurus. Phew! This difficult dinosaur stakes a claim to the longest name in the clay dinosauria ever. Not something you'd ever hope to have on a spelling bee. <laughs> now let's wander into the wonderful wizarding world of... The Cretaceous? That's right, because this wonderfully weird dinosaur is named... Draco Rex Hogwartsia. The Dragon King of Hogwarts, Harry Potter's prodigious school for witchcraft and wizardry. However, this creature's curious mix of horns, bumps, and crests might just be an indication of this dino being a juvenile pachycephalosaurus or within the same group as a different species. But as much as I'd love to gab on about Gryffindor and Albus Dumbledore, it's time for a fossil fact. <laughs> most humongous snake that has yet to be discovered was Titanoboa, measuring a whopping 40 feet long, living 58 million years ago, a few million after the fall of the dinosaurs. This mind-blowing boa ate crocodiles and weighed more than a ton. Remind me not to take a swim in the paleogene. <laughs> This Triassic theropod was named by Kenneth Carpenter after the original Japanese pronunciation of that OG gargantuan giant Godzilla himself. This is because Gojirasaurus reached a new nightmarish size for Triassic dinosaurs, larger than a horse. Though it couldn't exactly belch lightning and crush cars under its claws, it was still a pretty impressive creature. <laughs> Ever wondered how absolutely irritating it is to identify a dinosaur? Well, these priceless paleontologists did, naming their new discovery Irritator. After finding out that the collectors they purchased it from had artificially modified its snout in a super unscientific way, it forced these fearless friends to remove the frustrating blunder of bone themselves, which took forever. <laughs> If there was ever a king to challenge T-Rex's tyrant throne, well, it would have to be THE king himself. Elvis. Well, I mean, technically not THE Elvis, but Elvisaurus. Unfortunately lacking a more melodiously musical talent, Elvisaurus, an ancient Jurassic theropod, could rip into its prey with almost as much pure passion as the king himself could when singing to a titanic ton of tearing up teenagers. It was discovered by Ohio State professor Emeritus David Elliott. This singing source scientific name is quite different from Elvisaurus, though. Cryolophosaurus. This peculiar pod of dinosaurs sported a proud pompadour on their head made out of incredibly thick bone, truly an echo of Elvis. As for our honorable mention, that award goes to... Eric. Just Eric. That's it. Anyways, Eric makes our honorable mentions list because he's not actually a dinosaur, but a marine reptile, part of the Plesiosauridae family, with the far less fantastical scientific name of Umunosaurus, 
Dimoskilos. He lived in the Euromanga Inland Sea that conquered vast corners of Australia during the early Cretaceous about 120 to 90 million years ago. Why the weird name? Well, any aficionado of a certain comedy collective called Monty Python would know. <clears throat> I, uh might just be a fan. The recurring rumor is that Eric the Plesiosaur was named after Eric Idle, one of their iconic comedians. See, paleontologists aren't as boring as you think. We're actually quite cool. Radical dude. So there were the seven strangest dinosaur names on Earth. Please like and subscribe, and as always, stay roar <laughs>